All right, so our flanders sitting on the inside, correct? Inside, yep. Okay. So that means our flange is coming out right here. And we're going to go half a 45. And we're going to go with the flange. That is. Okay. You gotta stretch it out a little bit more, but that's all right. That's what we got. Right, just raise it in there. Okay. I got a, a thing, one of my old ones I keep around, I can give you. What is it? Just a second, I'll grab it out of my other clipboard. You see what we're doing here? Since it's a rolling offset, you got a fourth dimension. Mm-hmm. A third dimension, excuse me. So, we got our 45s here. Okay, yeah. Let's see, so you gotta have that dimension. So we have our over measurements, so we got eight. Here to here. So that's from center of that flange to center of this other flange. Yeah, that's our offset. Okay. So we got eight and one sixteenth. Eight, one, sixteenth. Okay, and then we have a rise of fourteen. Now I still got it, you know, I, I know this stuff all right, but the rolling offsets I don't do real offsets. We got we get right back in the book there. We forgot the formula with them. Okay. And then we got fourteen and a quarter on our rise. Fourteen, one quarter. Okay. And then we have an overall from here. All the way back to see, overall length. Back to here. Which we'll need that in a little bit, so you kind of put it up out of the way. You have to figure out all your other stuff here first. You got one of these Graves Blue Books, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was my Bibles right there, man. Heck yeah, me too. Everybody needs one of those. Okay. Then we've got that one there, we've got 12 foot 6 and 7 eighths. 12 foot 6. Eights. Okay, now right triangle, you need to figure out what this is right here, right? Because we want right. to know that. So here we go. Let's go in here. So that's what we're figuring out is from this to this, right? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as your standard 45 offset. Of course, we know if we were if it was in a straight line, we then would it'd know. Then it just be 1.414. Exactly. Okay. Which we're still going to get to that point. But it, since it's rolled over a little bit, it's going to be, it's gonna be a length. little bit longer. Yeah, okay. So right in here, you just go to it. There's a uh, table of contents here. Most of the stuff in here I could flip right to, but on this. Because you just don't hear yeah. enough of it. Uh, yeah, you get one thing, but. Solving rolling offsets should be here somewhere. <laughs> Trigonometry tables, pipe water weight. Common piping angles and their solutions. Staggered offsets. Still didn't put it in the juice there. And there we go. There we go. Rolling offset. Record roller dimensions. Okay, so. Two dimension rolling offset above the second calculation. Solving rolling offsets. Okay. Find the amount of travel you need, which is that's this one here. Rolling offset is nothing more than a plane offset rolled over is to hold two dimensions as shown in drawing number one. To figure a rolling offset, you must find the distance it will take to roll over straight piping and hold these two dimensions. This is shown in drawing number one as with the 90 degree turns. All right. Distance is found, da 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 da, drawing number one. The figure 23 and a half that is obtained, the true amount of set. Well, okay, yes. So, check it out. Super easy. Oh, the difficult parts when you damn. come. To, the difficult part is when you come to um, getting the two hole right with this. You've actually got to do that by setting it up. There's no. You actually got to set it up right. And then weld the last flange on. So we've got. Eight and a sixteenth and fourteen and a quarter, right? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and burn us a foot here. So we got eight and a sixteenth. Am 
by 14 and a quarter. Two foot four and three eighths. You see that? Yep. Two foot right. four and three eighths. All right. That is our travel. That's that's there. Two foot four and three eighths. Or what did I say? Two, two foot, foot four, four and three eighths. But I burned a foot, so it's one foot four and three eighths. Yep. And note that down here. One foot four three eighths. Now what is that? That is the same thing as your basic offset, except for now we know instead of just coming. Up and over. Oh, like so we got offset. our elevation and our yep. you got distance right there. So we already know this. this. So now we know what it is from here to here. Oh. Now we just take that number and multiply it times 1.414. Okay. Yeah. So. So we got one foot four inch. Three eighths times one point four one four. Okay, so that's gonna be our travel. One foot eleven and one eighth. So that's I'm gonna erase this off here a little bit because it's getting in my way. So travel one foot eleven one eighth inch. Now, just like in any other offset, though. Okay, so we got that one foot four and three eighths. It's like a forty-five. So now we know. Also, our distance from here to here with that, because all we did is took that 45 and rolled on its side. We just need to extend it, so that's going to extend that a little bit. So we know that this is one foot four and three eighths. Four, three eighths inch. Got it? All right. So now we need our we do our flange takeoff. So that's our new center to 45, center to 45. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay, now, I you, got you. You know how to do your 45s on yep. paper. You're like this. Okay, so we're dealing with 6-inch, right? So you know both of these. Here's something a lot of guys know, and but they just don't know the full thing. So on any 45 offset, works all the way up to like 20-inch. Okay, you got 6-inch. You break it down, four, break it in half uh, four times. Oh, four, three, three, one, one, half, and three, quarter. Now on your standard, standard long radius fitting, like we're using here today. Like seven and a half inches. Nope, nope. You use your third and your fourth number. Oh, three and okay, three quarter. Okay, so that's inch. three and three quarter is your takeoff on this 45. Now, say you're using three R fittings. Pipeline? Yeah. Same thing works, but that's those two numbers. So that's your three R, this is your long radius. Yep. All right. Three R takeoff. Nope. And uh, standard, standard or long radius, whatever you want to call it. They don't teach you guys this stuff in school. <laughs> Hell no, they don't. <laughs> and then you can get into your books and they'll vary a little bit, this and that. But this has always worked for me. It's never failed me. And it's just, you know, right it's off good. there. Stuff to, it's good to know the stuff on top of your head. Everybody nowadays has these pipe fitting apps and stuff on their phone. But the problem is, a lot of times you get out on these fucking jobs, you're out in the middle of nowhere. And, and uh, no service to run No service app. to run it. You need to know how to do the stuff out of your books and with your calculators. Yep. And preferably, if you're good enough with math, know how to do it without your calculator. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Okay, Which, you so, know, I do have some stuff. But. So right here, now we've got our we've got our center to center. Well, now we can start breaking it all down and here. So then we timed so, it by 1.414 to get our run. And so, now we just got to do our takeoff, right? Yeah, what I need, okay, I need a takeoff on a, a 6 inch 300 equals. Uh, I need to take off on a 6 inch 150 equals. We'll fill the, fill the blanks in in a second. And then we already know, we just figured out our 6 inch... 45 degree elbow so we know that equals three and three quarters three oh <laughs> three and close three quarters you guys get the gist we're good let's roll there's another special offsets drawing teach you all kinds of cool stuff but anyway we'll just go back into our fittings here so you get into your got a 300 pound six inch on this end i always like to confirm my fans things this book is pretty good i have found there are a couple uh, misleading ones. Yeah, there are a couple of outs. Uh, specifically, the one I found in this book is the two-inch fifteen hundred raised face. The takeoff is not correct in the book, but usually these are pretty good. So we got three and seven eighths. The way I like to do it to keep things as less confusing as possible. That's where you always get messed up is getting a hurry there. So we break up each section. We know right here, and not offset is one foot four and three eighths. Okay. 
Okay, so now we got our six inch 300 right here. I just want to break up each section. So we got a six inch 300, three and seven eighths, plus three and three quarter for our 45. That's going to be just from there to there. So we got three inch, three quarter, plus three inch, seven eighths equals. All right, so we got seven and five eighths take off right seven and five eighths is gonna be that okay and then we know down here that's three and a half we're not gonna worry about that because that's one big piece of where well here we'll go ahead and add them up and set them aside so once again six inch 45 three and three quarter six inch 150 on this end we're gonna be looking at uh three and a half so you're talking seven and a quarter inches we're just kind of note that there just for a second because our next thing we got 12 foot six and seven eighths overall 12 feet that's from flange to inch. flange that's from flange to flange that's yep. our overall what we pulled over there and you come back over do all the easy stuff over here 12 foot six inch oops hit the button an extra time 12 foot six inch seven eighths subtract seven and five eighths Subtract seven inches, seven inch, five eighths. Subtract one foot four and three eighths. So that's this run that's from middle of 45 to middle of 45. Oh, that's actually that's that's right here. That's this section. Our travel is up here, but to get our, that straight, what that's going to take out, we got to get it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's our set. Okay. So uh, one foot four and three eighths. One foot. Oh, four I and now. three eighths equals okay so now we have ten foot six and seven eighths so we've got rid of this and this so we know from a center of our 45 here back to the center of this flange is ten foot six and since you are recording me here I'm gonna stress it again don't ever be afraid to recheck your math as many times as you want to let me write this down because you forget. build it and weld it it's that way 12 foot six and seven eighths yeah you build it and weld it i don't care if you got to double check it quadruple check it whatever it takes till you're comfortable with it because it's fucking better than uh building the whole thing and having to cut it back apart Heck yes. so we'll re we run through that in a second but pretty much we got it all there now you got to do is your takeoffs you got your fitting takeoffs here and here we got our one foot eleven and one eighth on our travel so we've got two 45s in this, which means we need to take off one full 45 because you got one half there and one half there. Yep. So you got three and three quarter, which is going to be what? Seven and a half? Seven and a half. All right. So we're going to go Six, four. one foot 11 inch, one eighth, subtract seven inch, one half equals okay there's your pup length one foot three and five eighths for here one foot three five eighths and i just always circle my pup lengths here so inch okay there's that pup length and then same thing here we got 10 feet six inch seven eighths subtract a flange and a 90 which we've already noted over here, the two of them together are seven and a quarter. Seven inch, one quarter equals nine foot eleven and five eighths. Inch. And that is our second pup. So now you're ready to build. The only thing is, it's what the way I prefer to do this. Just if you're if you're welding in fans offsets, it's a lot easier because you got everything there. But now when you're talking, you got your flange. All I'll do is I'll weld together my little offset here. We'll even get this out since it's on there for you. And what I'm gonna start by doing is with my thing, I'm gonna build my little offset here up to there. And then what I'll do is I'll stick my fans in the rollout wheel. When I fit this up to it, I'll get it in jacks and I'll roll it up or over to where my top of pipe, because when it's, when it's standing up straight up, it begins a rolling offset. If you stand it straight up in your rollout wheel, we'll put this on the rollout wheel and we're gonna fit the flange to it before we do. If you want, you can come over and get some video on this. Yeah, we'll too. do that too. Um, so what you do is you take that in your rollout wheel and you roll it over until you got your offset. Eight and a sixteenth? Yep. You roll that thing in your rollout wheel and you'll take a couple squares and you measure eight and a sixteenth over. Then you got and your then offset. then you'll double check your 